What's up everyone on YouTube? This is your boy King Denix. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing another tutorial. This one is focused on frequency separation. So I'm going to show you how to do frequency separation in less than two minutes. Let me show some example of this final picture. As you can see, I use frequency separation here just to adjust the highlights on the forehead and also to smooth out the skin and also balance between shadow and light tones. Actually, now I've been doing frequency separation for a long time, but I didn't like it until now. I started using it on most of my pictures and actually realized that it's actually a good thing if you master it. So today I'm going to show you how to do frequency separation. I hope in the future I'll just show you how to do an action for that. First thing you have to do is export your picture to Lightroom and then adjust the colors to look like this it depends what kind of a look you're going for if you like this look go to my channel i did a video a tutorial on how to get a teal and orange look on lightroom if you are a photoshop person you can also do that following my steps and using camera raw so from here this is your background layer first thing you have to do is duplicate your layer you can press ctrl j or just select here and come to Duplicate layer, then press here. Duplicate your layer into two layers, and then you come to the bottom layer. Double click here, and then name the bottom one low, and then you come here, name the higher one high, add another layer, and then you bring it between those layers, and then you name it tone. Okay, this one is going to actually capture the detail, the shadow and the light part. And this one is going to capture the colors. I'm going to use this one to adjust the colors. And this one, it will capture the details of the skin, the details of the image. Uncheck here and come to low. And then you go to filter. You go to filter, you come to blur and then you come to Gaussian blur. You have to adjust the radius of Gaussian blur to a point where you can no longer see the details of the image from here. It will also depend what kind of an image you have. If it's an 8-bit, I never edited 8-bit images. Usually I do 16-bit images, but it will depend. You can start from here and just go up a bit. As you can see, these are the details. Let's just adjust the radius. Uh, nope. I like it here. Yeah. Press OK. And then you come to High. Check here. And then you go to Image apply image so you come here don't adjust anything here. you come to layer and then you select low and then rgp channel you leave it on rgp channel you leave it on rgp invert and then you come to blending select here, and then you come to add and then it will look like this don't adjust anything here and then you add, you change your scale to two but if your image is an 8-bit image then you come to subtract and you change your scale to one then you come to blending here and then you select linear light and we are back to your original details but now we have all this separated so frequency separation actually separates the tones of your skin separates the details and the colors from your image and then you just have to group this just select here Press Ctrl, select here and select here. Ctrl G. Ctrl G. And then from here, you also name this one to Frequency Separation. And then we are done. And the next tutorial I will do, I'll show you how to actually use frequency separation to get a smooth skin like Denny. Ooh.